the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones video. As you all know, Game of Thrones is one of the most successful shows ever created. It's actually one of the very few shows that became a worldwide phenomenon, airing in over 170 different countries. It has broken numerous records for its budget, its viewership, and having the largest cast of characters ever assembled for television. Now, if you're a new fan of Game of Thrones, then there might be some things you don't know about the show. Long before Game of Thrones became a global success, the show was nearly cancelled before its first episode ever aired. The original pilot episode for Game of Thrones has almost become a legend in itself. That first episode was so bad, very few have actually seen it. I recently made a video about that episode where I went over some of the things that had to be changed. The showrunners had to do a lot of rewrites because some scenes weren't making any sense whatsoever. They even got themselves a different director, but this isn't why I'm making the video. Some of you might not know this, but Amelia Clark was not the original actress HBO had in mind for Daenerys Targaryen. Before Amelia Clark was the Mother of Dragons, there was a different actress, Tamsin Merchant, standing in as the iconic character. Now, some of you may be wondering, why did she leave the show, and how did she feel about her choice to leave the show after it became a massive success? It's been well over a decade since she filmed that episode, but for whatever reason, she hasn't said anything about it until now. I know I was very interested in learning what she had to say, so I figured some of you might be as well. I also want to show you what George R. R. Martin had to say about this actress when she first landed the job. Thankfully, there is still a record of his thoughts on the internet. Now keep in mind, George said this over a decade ago, before anything was ever filmed for Game of Thrones. He said, As Daenerys Targaryen, we have the lovely and talented young British actress Tamsin Merchant. I know my readers play the casting game. Well, confession time, so do I. Ever since I began A Song of Ice and Fire, way back in 1991, though it wasn't until 1994 that I got writing in earnest, there was always a little part of me that would watch every television show and movie with one eye looking for actors and actresses who might work as my characters. And so there I was, watching the Tudors, which I have very mixed feelings about, I confess, when Tamsin Merchant came on the screen as the 15-year-old Catherine Howard, Henry VIII's fifth wife. I set up at once thinking, hmm, she could be a good candidate for Danny. Catherine Howard, as all students of history know, ended with her head on the block, much like Henry VIII's second wife, Anne Boylan. Danny is a very difficult role. She starts out vulnerable and scared, but blooms on the Dothraki Sea and becomes a leader by book's end. It's no secret that HBO's Danny will start out older than Danny does in the book. That was a change that had to be made if we wanted to keep the sex scenes, and David and Dan and I were all agreed that the sex scenes were essential. Tamsin can play much younger than her actual age, as she does when playing Catherine, and her sex scenes on the Tudors were as hot as anything I've ever seen on television. In her readings, she showed Danny's other side as well, commanding and charismatic after Drogo's death. I think she'll be marvelous. I believe I mentioned at Worldcon that we were down to three finalists for Danny, which was true at the time. It was a hell of a hard choice, since the other two contenders were also great. So great, in fact, that I hope we can use both of them in other roles should the series last several seasons. Yes, I know the roles, and no, I won't tell you what ones, nor the names of the other two actresses. Sorry, not kosher. All three of them were smashing. But Tamsin was Danny. Well, as you can see, George was very excited about this. He thought the actress would make a great Daenerys. He must have saw something in her that reminded him of Danny. It sounds like the author wanted her for the job, and I can only assume she wanted the job because she not only went in for the audition, but she landed the role, and even filmed scenes for the first episode. So, what happened? Why did she leave Game of Thrones? Now let's have a look at what the actress said, now that she's finally speaking out about it. As always, Entertainment Weekly landed this exclusive interview. The article says, The Carnival Row actress and the Hatmaker's author candidly discusses the great lesson of appearing in HBO's original scrap pilot more than a decade after playing the Mother of Dragons. 
The then 21-year-old Merchant landed the female lead role in HBO's original ill-fated Game of Thrones pilot that was filmed back in 2009. The original episode was famously scrapped and almost entirely reshot due to many issues, and several actors and members of the crew were replaced along the way. One of those changes? The actor who was the mother of dragons. Back then, the British actress was coming off another hit drama series, The Tudors, on Showtime. She would later go on to join WGN Salem, the CW Supergirl, and Amazon's Carnival Row, which is currently filming its second season. Merchant is also about to launch her literary debut, the young adult fantasy novel The Hatmakers. The actress said, Shooting that episode was a really great lesson. It was an affirmation about listening to my instincts and following them, because I tried to back out of that situation and, during the contract process, I did back out. I was eventually talked back into it. Then I found myself naked and afraid in Morocco, and riding a horse that was clearly much more excited to be there than I was. Marchin is referring to Daenerys' wedding night, which included nudity when the exiled Targaryen princess was claimed by her brutish horse lord husband called Drogo. The original version she was in was filmed as more of a seduction than in the eventual aired version starring Clark. One shot of the sex scene was interrupted by the horse having an erection. Merchant also went on to say, It was a lesson that if my guts are telling me a story isn't something I'm excited to tell, then I shouldn't try to be excited just because others are telling me that I should be excited. I did not have any training as an actor. I only have my instincts. And what excites me and drives me is a compelling story and a compelling character. So for me, Game of Thrones was never that. Shots fired. I think it's a testament to Amelia Clark for making that role iconic. She was obviously excited to tell that story, and she was epic and excellent. But for me, it wasn't in my heart to tell it. Now, if you would stop the video right here, it sounds like she was the one who walked away from the show. It sounds like she left because she did not want to do it, but that's not what happened. Usually, who originally played whom during the unaired development process of a series being figured out is easily forgotten. But Merchant had the highly unusual experience of watching a show where she had a brief gig that simply didn't work out slowly grow into the biggest global sensation of the 21st century and an inescapable brand in everyday life. She goes on to say, It was kind of funny riding to auditions on buses with Amelia Clark's face on it. Like, oh, my mode of transport is quite interesting today. It's been a thing I felt like I watched unfold and it's been fantastic for the film industry in Northern Ireland and Croatia, and that has been really great. In Fire Cannot Kill a Dragon, one source noted that calling Merchant to inform her of the recasting decision was the hardest phone call they ever had to make. While HBO executive Michael Lombardo said, There was a piece of casting we had to rethink, a role that was compromised. We all knew Daenerys' journey was critical. Her scenes with Jason Momoa just didn't work. While co-executive producer Brian Cogman added, I thought she did a really good job. It's hard to say why things didn't work out. Ultimately, it's obvious Amelia Clark was born to play that role. So, as you can see, she did not walk away from the job on her own. She left Game of Thrones because she was fired. Now, I'll be honest, it makes me wonder if that's why she said some of the things she did. Almost like she has to convince herself it was for the best. You will see what I mean here in a minute. Merchant then added that when she considers her opportunity on Game of Thrones, she thinks of the story of the red shoes. Merchant says, It tells a story of this girl who has a pair of handmade shoes, these red shoes that she's made herself. She's walking on her path and she gets taken by this lady in a golden carriage. The lady sweeps her off to this grand life of riches and luxury, and she burns the red shoes that the girl made. All the girl wants is some red shoes and she eventually buys some, and they dance her to death. And for me, I think if I had to get in that golden carriage, if I hadn't been released from my contract, I think it would have taken me to a place far from the creative person that I am today. Also, if I was very rich and famous, I wouldn't have the time to do all the things that my soul needs me to do. Expressing myself creatively is a need that's more important than any amount of riches that I could have gained from that role. If I did, I think I'd just distract myself, but that's just me, not anybody else. I'm very grateful to have claimed my own path to be carving it for myself. So, it sounds like she's very happy she was fired from Game of Thrones because she doesn't want to be rich and famous, at least not on the level she would have gained if she stayed on the show. 
Now, I do agree with her to some extent, but I also disagree with her as well. I don't blame her for not wanting to be that famous. I would not enjoy getting stopped or followed by cameras whenever I leave my house. The millions of dollars would be nice, don't get me wrong, but I also enjoy being anonymous, or just another face in the crowd. That's one of the reasons I've never done a face reveal. I like that I'm somewhat of an unknown. Now, the reason why I have an issue with her saying this is because she's still an actress. It's not like she walked away from the industry altogether. She could become just as famous as someone from Game of Thrones at any moment. Any one of the shows or movies she has been in since she left Game of Thrones could have made her very famous. When you're an actor, you really can't control what will thrust you into the spotlight. Now, unless you're strictly filming things that are independent or on a very, very small budget, but that's not exactly what she's been working on either. She was on a relatively big series on Showtime, and now she's on another decently sized show on Amazon. Honestly, if she doesn't want to be rich or famous at all, then she might want to consider another line of work. Then again, maybe that's why she's writing the book, so she can leave the big or small screen. I just think it's easy for her to say all of this now after she was fired from the show, but who am I to judge? If that's how she really feels, then good for her, seriously. I'm glad she's able to do the things that she wants to do. I'm honestly not familiar with any of her work, so I can't even say if Game of Thrones was better without her. One day, I hope we're all able to get to see that original first episode. I would really love to see all the different changes they made. I really do think they should release it now that the series is over. Anyhow, leave me some of your feedback down below. Are you familiar with the actress? And if so, do you think she could have been a better Daenerys than Amelia? Are you glad she was let go from the show? What do you think about her thoughts on the series now? Let me know what you think. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching the video. I hope everyone has a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.